biggest influence, easy as my dad. My dad was ABA champion in 1980, uh, light flyweight champion, the same year that Frank Bruno won the super heavyweight title. So yeah, growing up, I guess knowing that he boxed, he would be my biggest influence. Mike Tyson, easy. He was, uh, he was so exciting. He he scared me from afar from watching it on TV. So let, I, I just can't imagine ever fighting him. So he was my favourite. Favourite fight? Oh, uh, Joe, what one that stands out as soon as you say that is Barrera Morales one. I remember getting up in the morning watching that all the family. Um, and yeah, that, that, that for me was two Mexican warriors putting it all on the line. It was a special, special fight. I bet you could even guess that, couldn't you? It, my favorite moment in boxing was without a doubt winning the world title, but one that also stands out was winning the Commonwealth Games gold medal. That was a special, you know, to be selected for a, a major tournament, let alone winning gold was special, but yeah. The world title. Worst moment? Probably, I mean, the, the, the last defeat was horrible, um, but, well, I mean, the, the amount of injuries I had was a nightmare, you know, constantly battling with injuries was, was hard. Um, so yeah, probably, probably injuries. Would have been my brother <clears throat> before he passed away. It was, um, yeah, without that, he was my closest. We used to drive to Repson or get on the train to Repson uh, every, every, pretty much every day. So yeah, him. I guess Tony Sims is, is very close to me. Spent spending like 11 years with Tony. Um, my dad. Lots of people. Very lucky. Best I face. It, on fight night would be Martinez, but the best I ever got in the ring with, in my opinion, was I went to Copenhagen spa with Mikel Kessler, and he beat me up for a week. So yeah, I'll probably say Kessler. Mikel Kessler. <laughs> he hurt me. He buzzed me in the last round. I did that funny little dance, uh, and luckily he didn't finish me off. Because I know if I was sparring with Frotch and he hurt me, he would have finished me off. Martinez, <clears throat> Martinez was, he was quick, he, he was, uh, I remember being in the ring with him thinking, your hands are low, I can land a shot, but I just couldn't, it was, it was tough, I mean I landed a few jabs and, you know, I was, I was doing okay, but he was very quick, very quick and uh, I learned a lot from him. Lomachenko, I think he's, I think he's very good, I don't think we'll ever have Find another, find another Lomachenko. I think to get an, an amateur record of 396 fights and one loss, and to avenge that loss twice is. I, I don't think we'll ever, ever, ever see a phenomenon like this. I think he's that good. The way he creates angles, what he does in the ring is special, and I think he's one of a kind. <laughs>